Hello, YouTube. Welcome to the new and improved Komekero Kitchen. This time, I'll be cooking baked blue marlin. I saw some frozen blue marlin at a local grocery and I thought I'd do a video recipe. It's actually quite easy as long as you have an oven. Okay? A critical ingredient of this is calamansi, which is a citrus fruit common here in the Philippines. In fact, we have a plant in our own front yard. It's always nice to have plants you can actually use for cooking. If you don't have this awesome fruit, I suppose oh, uh, lemons would do. Oi, the marlin I got is half a kilo and I thawed it for a couple of hours, cleaned it, and pat dried it with tissue. Now, why is blue marlin blue marlin? Why is it blue? I don't know. It actually looks kind of gray to me. Season one side of the fish with salt and ground black pepper. Now, take a piece of aluminum foil and pour around a teaspoon of olive oil and spread that around a little bit. It doesn't have to be extra virgin, okay? Regular uh, olive oil will do. Place the seasoned side of the fish on the oil and then season the other side with salt ground black pepper, and some dried basil. Chop two cloves of garlic finely and spread it over the top of the fish. Now, take your calamansi and slice off the top like that. Squeeze the juice of two calamansi on the fish. I didn't do it here but it's best if you keep the seeds from falling with the pork or with the strainer. Now, take around a tablespoon and a half of cold butter and distribute it on top of the fish. Since you already salted the fish, it's best to use unsalted or perhaps slightly salted butter. Carefully seal the foil. Do it any which way you like as long as you do it the way I do it. And seal in the fish perfectly. Like this. Now do it twice more to the last remaining pieces, like this. Place the boiled fish inside a preheated oven at 200 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, take the fish out of the oven and after letting it rest and cool for a few minutes, very carefully open the boil. Steam will escape from inside it and it could kill you. So be very careful. You will find some perfectly baked marlin surrounded by this awesome, awesome butter calamansi sauce. Transfer the fish to a serving plate and pour that awesome juice on the fish. Chop some parsley and spread it over the top, you know, for culinary effect. And there you have it. Baked blue marlin you can of course use other kinds of fish fillets for this you can use dory or tambacol or salmon or tuna just make sure you adjust cooking time because fish like dory tends to cook faster than something like marlin okay okay till next time youtube bye bye